Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to my channel, Unbiased LLC. Today is Tuesday, and it is week 31, 31 of So Up to Glow Up Tuesdays with your girl, Unbiased LLC. Today, we will be making a bandana patchwork t-shirt dress. Because what I'm going to do is take a t-shirt and attach it to the skirt that we will make from bandanas. And then it will be a summer dress. Okay. <laughs> okay. So um, let me introduce the people that have stepped in the room, honey. Passionately Intrigued Arts. Welcome in, Queen. Um, creating with Took. Welcome in, Queen. I appreciate you being here. Dawn Peoples, welcome in, Queen. She, we here, welcome in, King. Sweet Re, hey, Queen. Um, thank you for being a Purple Patch Crew member. And Miss Crafty Leo, hey, Queen. And thank you for being a Purple Patch Crew member. Official J. Mia, welcome in, Queen. You in the bushes? It's all good, baby. It's all good. Um, so I appreciate each and every one of you for being here today. So let's just um say that we will clear the elephant in the room okay yes my glasses do have some kind of tint on them because your girl went and got her some more readers which is for to help with the screen okay and they work they make my eyes look really really big however they working that's all i got to say they working so um hey ain't charlotte welcome in queen and thank you for being a purple patch crew member you just listening i got you queen um, Sammy Joe, 1982. Welcome in, Queen. I appreciate you being here. Wipe Down TV. Welcome in, King. I appreciate you being here. Um, so let's get started, y'all. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all the most important part. <laughs> I forgot to tell y'all the most important part. We gonna have pockets on our dress. Okay. <laughs> Your girl has to have pockets because we got to be able to put our stuff in the pockets so that um you know we can hide a little something something put our phone in there at least a little lip gloss or something but your girl is making some pockets on this this baby doll dress so it's kind of like considered a baby doll dress you can wear it for the summer um and so we just gonna get started let me show you guys what i have and what we're going to do in order to achieve this look and guess what else i got my notes <laughs> i got my notes for today okay Pockets for the money, okay. <laughs> you 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 heard me. You heard me. Hey, Tamika Davis, welcome in, Queen. Um, I hope that you are feeling better, helping your son with homework. Do what you got to do, Queen. I appreciate you for being here. So I have a fan running in the background, y'all. If y'all hear it, just let me know. But um, I have been advised that it's okay. So we will continue. So let's go to the table. And let me show you guys what we have um, that we're going to need for this project. And let me just say this. Um, you can put as many bandanas as you want on your skirt. You can make your skirt whatever length you desire. Okay. Mine is going to be close to my knee or above my knee because um, I don't like, I mean, I, long skirts are okay, but that's not, I ain't vibing with that right now, okay? And it's summertime, you want to be cute, okay? Um, hey, Kiara Bias, welcome in, Queen. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. So we're going to the, to the table, and um, let me show you guys what we will need for this project. All right, so, hey, RX Nails, welcome in, Queen. I appreciate you being here. Okay, so we don't need the phone. However, I have my pocket pieces. Remember when I did this video? Um, oh, I think it was the last video, the skirt that I made. I showed you guys how to cut out the pocket pieces. So I have four pieces here. So this will be our pockets, okay? And then I have some pins. You're going to need some pins or clips, whichever one you prefer a tape measure um some scissors now depending on which fabric you use you can use your pinking shears so that the fabric does not fray or you could just use your regular um fabric scissors to cut whatever you need to cut 
with the bandanas you will not be cutting much okay you will not be cutting much so it's just totally totally up to you coach mary my welcome in queen i appreciate you for being here congratulations on your new job honey okay so this is the shirt that i will be using which is just a plain black shirt we're gonna put an image on it after the fact okay so this is just a plain shirt this is in the size large which is really too big for me because i wear a medium shirt but this is all i had in my stash okay and so what we're going to do is take an existing shirt i'm sorry you guys that the shirt is black on black but i did get one that had diamonds on it so hopefully you can tell which which one is the difference oh we're going to have pockets yes miss lena thank you for coming in queen okay so what you want to do is match up your um match up your collar okay to the best of your ability okay i'm gonna just shake this out so i can get it a little straight so this is the shirt and they almost this is a this says extra extra large y'all but i don't think it was but that's what it says okay and so basically i'm just using this shirt to measure where i would like to cut the shirt underneath okay so i'm just going to slide this up so y'all can see this is the end of the other shirt casper's creations welcome in queen i appreciate you being here And I'm just flattening it out because your girl forgot to iron the shirt. Okay. So I'm going to tell you guys how long this shirt is. This shirt on top, when you measure from the seam, so you take the shoulder seam and you measure from that line. And this shirt is approximately 19 inches long. However, they folded it over so that they can make a cuff. But your girl want her shirt to be 17 inches long once it's complete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my, my shirt underneath at an 18 inch because I want it to rise up uh, when, I, when I finish, okay? So keep in mind, let me show you let me see if i can show you guys how to measure this hold on let me show you give me one second okay so if you it depends on where you want your shirt to fall okay so from the shoulder the shoulder seam on whatever you're wearing or your shoulder you can you know have on no clothes or clothes at all or whatever you want to come down and just measure and stop where you want your shirt to stop okay so i'm measuring mine and right now it was at a 15. so i'm going to add that one extra inch so i technically i guess my shirt will be um 16 inches and then once i fold it it'll be 15. okay and then from the 15 from the 15 inch I want my skirt to be about an 18 and so because that's like right above my knee and my bandanas measure 20 by 20 20 by 20 so i'm not cutting anything off of my bandana i am just going to rouge it up so that it will draw itself up okay y'all stay tuned for that but i just wanted y'all to see if y'all want y'all shirt you can go as high or as low with your measurements as you choose that this is totally up to you okay so let's get back to the table cole waltz welcome in i appreciate you being here king miss deborah gary welcome in queen that's why i ran away from sewing lots of calculations the only counting and math i love is when counting money okay coach mary ma 
I hear you, Queen. Miss Linda Gray, welcome in, Queen. If I missed anybody else coming in, I, I apologize. Okay, so we are back at the table. So I'm going to remove this shirt, okay? I just wanted you guys to see if you have an, <clears throat> I'm sorry, if you have an existing shirt that you would like to use to measure, do so. Just make sure that it's in the same uh, particular fabric, which these both are cotton, okay? 100% cotton. All right, so I'm just going to remove this shirt. And I'm just going to take my tape measure and I'm going to measure my 15 inches down, which is right here, okay? So I'm just going to take my pink and shears and I'm just going to cut. If you, you know, it, it can or don't have to be even, that's, that's totally your choice, okay? I'm on my cutting mat, so my shirt should not move. And so I'll just cut this straight across or what I uh, what appears to me to be straight across. OK, so this is what we have left. So these are the bandanas that I will be using for my skirt. Dark purple, the white. This is like a lavender and white again lavender white and dark purple and lab and white okay so i think i just mixed up my uh pattern but we'll fix it in just a second so what i'm going to do is take all of my um bandanas make sure that they are on the right side you will be able to know if they're on the right side by looking at, if you can see that, you see where it says 100% cotton, make sure that that's, you know, upright and facing the right way. Sunshine to Sunset Set with Rashonda. Welcome in, Queen. I appreciate you being here and praying all is well. Okay, so that's how you know it's on the right side if the words at the bottom are the correct way up. So I'm just going to make sure that all of my, oh, this one is a better one. So you see, this says 100% cotton and on the back is, it is red wrong. Okay. So this is what I was talking about. All right. So you just make sure that all of them are facing the correct way. And I probably should have did this before I came, but hey, we're going we gonna to learn this together, okay? Because people don't realize they do have a wrong and a right side of a bandana. One side is dull and one side is shiny, okay? So you just want to make sure that they are all up in the right direction. And then so what I'm going to do after getting these in the right direction is we're going to go to the floor. We're going to go to the floor and we are going to cut these out and piece them together. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so y'all, this one don't have a name on it. This one don't have no kind of nothing, but this one looks like this is the front and this is the back. So we'll roll with that. I already had these bandanas in my stash, you guys. So they are not all, hey, craftable things. Welcome in, Queen. Dim's Design, welcome in, Queen. I appreciate you guys for being here. Um, I had these in my stash, and so they are not all alike. Please be advised, some bandanas look different. So if you want your bandanas to all match, I suggest that you purchase them all at one time and from one manufacturer okay hey d stacks hey king miss marissa dangerous welcome in queen okay so let's go to the floor and let's show you guys what we're gonna do uh from that point this should not take long but y'all know me so okay so i'm gonna just put my i'm gonna just put me some paper down just because 
I'm I'm working with the white bandana, and I don't want it to get messed up, even though the floor is semi-clean, okay? So, this is what we have, and I'm going to take my regular fabric scissors, okay? So, all I'm going to do, hopefully you guys can see, what I'm going to do is take one and fold it in half the the like a uh, like a triangle fold it in half like a triangle and try your best to get them as straight as possible i mean and the question is yours you don't have to get them straight but you would want to so that you can maximize all of your material okay and I'm just going to take my scissors and cut this in half on the diagonal. And I'm just going to do all my pieces just like that, okay? You just want to cut them on the diagonal just like that. So you should be left with something that looks like this, okay? So I'm just gonna put this to the side and work on the next one. You just fold it in half diagonally. And we will sew these right back together um, in a different pattern, okay? So we have to actually see which way we want our pattern to go. You could have left these whole. So that's why I keep saying the preference is yours. You can leave these whole if you would like. You do not have to cut them on the diagonal. I'm just choosing to cut these on the diagonal. Okay? So give me a second and I'll complete all of these. And then we will go to the sewing machine after we get our our uh, pattern in order because what you're going to do is just sew them right back together so that you can make a square and if y'all saying something in the comments hey sleazy welcome in queen mk hey miss mary welcome in queen um Let's see, who else? If I'm missing anybody, y'all, I apologize. Okay, let me try to hurry up and cut these out. My daughter already informed me that I cannot be on this live long, okay? So we will do our best to get this done as soon as possible. After I finish cutting this, we will um, arrange them in the pattern that we that I would like for my skirt to be. They may or may not meet up, and it's okay. You make your skirt whatever colors you like, and like I said before, the length that you would like it to be. Just remember that all of your squares or approximately 20 by 20. So 20 by 20 squares is what you get from bandanas. So, you know, um, depending on your size as well, um, you can probably make you a bandana skirt for less than, I would say, $10. 10 maybe 12 dollars because they may not be a dollar anymore they may be a dollar 25 so keep that in mind if you get giving them from the dollar the dt store and also if you buying them from the dt store i would get one and measure it to see if you're getting the same 20 by 20 size because i believe the ones that they sell at BT are way smaller than the ones you may get on Amazon. If you look in my description 
I have already linked my, uh, I mean, I linked um, some bandanas in the description box of this video, and you can check those out. And they are 20 by 20 squares. I have some other colors that I bought from there, and they all measured out to be 20 by 20. Sometimes you get lucky and get like a 21 by 21 inch square off of a bandana. I almost missed that cut up, baby. I was, the, the paper was moving. So, um, y'all, if y'all saying anything in the comments, I apologize. I, my head is down and I'm just trying to get this cut out for you guys, okay? So just give me a second and I will come back to the chat. And so after this, I'm going to show you guys how to arrange them. Well, I'm going to show you how I'm going to arrange it. You can um, pretty much arrange yours how you would like. Okay, so it just depends on you. So this is what we have. Two square, two triangles from each piece. Okay, so I am going to mix and match my squares. So I can turn this one. And I'm so this is what this one is going to look like once I sew this together. Watch this when I open it up. These two will be side by side. Just like that. This is what my this is what this is going to look like. Can y'all see that? That's what it's going to look like on my skirt. Okay. So I'm going to keep these two together and I'm going to pin them on each end just so that they stay together. So let me show you this. The, the light purple one is a little bit smaller than the white. You see how the white is has more? But it will be okay because once I sew this back together, I'm going to lose some of my inches, which this will end up being the same once I'm done. Okay, so I have that. Let me get my pins, y'all. I'm sorry. And all you want to do is just pin the top and the bottom just so that they stay together. Okay. And then that's that. So the next one that I will do, it will be out of my dark purple fabric, okay? So I'm going to do a dark purple. And then I'm just going to put the white on top of that. And hold on, I gotta make sure I have I have it on the right side. This is the right side, okay. And so this will come just like this. And then I'm gonna pin those two together as well. And for my skirt, listen, y'all listen. For my skirt, I'm using three bandanas in the front and three bandanas in the back. Even though I have cut my my um, squares in diagonal cuts, they still will be three bandanas in the front and three bandanas in the back. If you have hips and buttocks, make your extra panel. Do your extra panel so you will have four panels or four bandanas in the front and four in the back. Okay. When I measure mine, three squares or three bandanas equals 120 inches. Y'all got me? Y'all with me? Okay. So if you do four, you're going to have 160. Is that right? Let me see. Yeah, y'all do the math. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so what I'm doing is let me see if I'm doing this right. Okay. Yes. 
So these are going to be right side to right side spaces is how you're going to put this, okay? So my next one will be this. And I have it upright, okay? And then I'm going to use, I'm kind of switching this up a little bit because I kind of, y'all know I love this dark purple, so I'm trying to use more of it in the front. So this will be, just make sure you uh, pin these together. Y'all welcome in. I'm not looking at the chat. I apologize if the moderators are speaking to you. It's just like I'm speaking to you, but I, I have my head down, people. So I'm so sorry. I appreciate you being here. Okay, so let me show you what the front of my skirt will look like thus far. So if I open this up, and make this a square just like this don't worry the pins is kind of making it look crazy but this is what it's going to look like i make this a square and then i'm going to make this one a square on top of that so can y'all see this is the pattern. I know it looks crazy, but this is the pattern. Okay, so this is what my skirt is going to look like in the front. So I have my three squares again, and I'm just going to sew all of this together. So I'm just gonna take this one and sew it straight down. And then once it opens up, I will take this one and sew it to this one and do the same thing with all of these. So right now I have six pieces, but it actually equals three. I just want y'all to understand because I cut it, it's still three panels or three bandanas, okay? So let me finish the last three. And then we can go to the sewing machine, baby, okay? But let me check the chat just right quick, you guys, so that um I won't get too far behind. Y'all, Grammy's Journal, welcome in, Queen. Mother of Twins, welcome in, Queen. Make it with Marilyn, welcome in, Queen. Buddha, hey, Queen. Uh, BD, BGP, welcome in, King. Hey, stay unique, print wear too. Hey, Queen, where you been? I've been looking on your channel. I'm like, she got her new room and she ain't been back since. But I understand, girl. I understand. Okay. If, oh, we got a new member. Thank you, Sammy Joe. I appreciate you, Queen. Let's twerk for some cash, baby. We twerking for cash. Twerking for cash. Twerking for cash. Purple Patch Crew. Thank you. Sammy Joe, 1982, welcome to the Purple Patch Crew, baby. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you. If I am missing anybody in this chat, please forgive me. Y'all welcome in Sammy Joe, 1982, to the Purple Patch Crew, baby. Okay, let's do the last one and see how this pattern is going to go. So we'll have this, this one. Y'all, I cut, I, okay, this one is, okay, this is the top. Okay. So all of them need to be um, facing each other. Uh, what I'm saying, right sides to right sides when you, when you, um, when you, Clip them down or pin them down, whichever way you, you, you're doing yours, okay? So just clip the top and the bottom just so you can make sure that they stay together. All right. And then I'm going to take one of the purple. And I'm going to take the another 
purple, the dark purple, and put that together. And I really don't have a rhyme or a reason. So, you know, if you have like specific, you know, colors that you would like to use and you want them to be side by side or whatever, just make sure that you take, oh, see, I got this on the wrong side, y'all. Make sure you take that into consideration. Okay, hold on. I just got confused. Okay, this is the right side. And then this is the right side. Okay. I got it. And then the last one will be with the white or a piece of a white. And, and the only thing I have left is another purple. So what I'll do is take this one and move it over here. And then I'll have this white one with the purple in the middle. That's what I get for changing it up at the last minute, y'all. But it's okay. Because I'm going to wear it regardless. Regardless. Okay, this is the front. And this is the front. All right. So we just going to pin these. Y'all, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Hashtag Purple Patch Crew one time for you, girl. I know this is probably the boringest part, but it's necessary for people to see. And I appreciate you guys for being here. Okay? And then we'll have this one. Oh, wait. Oh, I did this one already. Okay. I pinned this one already. I just had to move it. Okay. All right. So we are about to go to the sewing machine, you guys, and I'm going to show you how to put all of this together. Okay. So meet me at the sewing machine. Meet me at the sewing machine. Okay. Let me put my paper up. And I am going to put this skirt, this t-shirt dress on for you guys when we are done. So if you have to leave, I, I understand. Just come back and see the finish, okay? D. Smith, welcome in. I appreciate you for being here. Okay, so first I want to show y'all something. It's just me. I just wanted to say hey. <laughs> okay, y'all, let's go to the sewing machine. Oh, Lord. Okay. All right. We are at the sewing machine. And y'all, all right. Big Rooster, welcome in, King. Let me see what stay unique print wear to say she been. Because your girl been looking for you. Um... Girl, so much has changed in my life, but I am back. Welcome back, queen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You didn't think nobody missed you, did you? But I saw. Okay, Sammy Joe, I appreciate you. I appreciate you, queen. Okay. Come back if you can. So, y'all, I still have my walking foot attached to my sewing machine because I'm lazy and I ain't changed it. Y'all let me know if this angle is okay for you guys to see. So I have white thread and white bobbin, okay? If your sewing machine is capable of leaving the needle down um, once you lift your presser foot up, put that on to your sewing machine because 
you're gonna need it just to keep your fabric from moving as you sew or as you adjust your fabric okay y'all it never fails i always put my pins on the wrong side i'm right-handed and so i thought i had that on the correct side but it's okay it's just a minor adjustment okay so let me tell you guys what we are doing we are just going to attach all of these squares back together and with my sewing machine i am using a straight stitch and i'm also using a 2.0 straight uh stitch length okay you want this to be tight because this will be around your hips and your buttocks and you know all that good stuff so you want to get a real good tight stitch so let's go ahead on and sew these pieces back together hey dainty do it welcome in queen all right so and just make sure that both of your layers stay in the same spot oh and if i didn't say it i'm using a three eighths of an inch seam allowance three eighths of an inch And so I was telling somebody the other day, you can use your walking foot to pretty much sew anything that you would like. I would not try it with silk or satin fabrics. And I probably wouldn't do it with a stretch fabric, but most cotton woven canvases, you can use your walking foot, okay? triple threat hey queen welcome in let me make sure i'm not missing anybody coming in the dainty doer freshman. so okay so i hear you have a friend been busy okay so they talking to one another i appreciate that Rashonda. i am so happy to see you queen i am so happy to see you i mean i'm happy to see all of y'all but you know y'all know y'all know what it is Make sure you lock all of your stitches in. Make sure y'all lock them in when you finish, when you uh, get to the end. And then once I sew all of these, we will take it to the ironing board. Uh-oh, y'all can't see. Once I sew all of these, we will take it to the ironing board and press out our seams, okay? If y'all can see that. We're pressing out the seams. But let me let me continue so i would say this part maybe is going to take about 10 minutes well five well, i don't know seven minutes maybe or so to get all of these sewn back together y'all just bear with me and we will have a finished product in no time okay this does not take long if you do not separate your your uh bandanas if you just use your bandanas the way that they came you don't have you it won't take you long pushing the fabric i'm just helping it guide through so that it stays even i hope this angle on the camera is okay for you guys to see Like I said, 
where you want this to be with a tight stitch so i'm using a 2.0 stitch length okay 2.0 stitch length so these are the front panels that i'm working on right now y'all know i'm probably gonna forget that when i get back to the other side but 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 they will be whole and i can place them the way that i really want them if if possible if not we're gonna roll with what we got and i just keep adjusting the fabric to make sure that they stay aligned and if you can oh that, that is moving y'all didn't say that it was jumping so i'm using the edge of my presser foot miss lena what is the white foot on the machine that's the walking foot the one that i showed you the last time we sewed the walking foot and it helps keep your fabric in line and together so that the feed dogs do not feed your bottom fabric faster than your top or vice versa it feeds it through the machine at the same time okay i don't know why y'all can't see okay there you go and y'all still shaking am i giving y'all a headache i don't know why it's shaking so much i'm getting hey always tam tam welcome in queen Am I giving y'all a headache? I don't know why that, that camera's shaking so bad. And I ain't see nobody say nothing. I saying that y'all didn't, but I didn't see it. I apologize, okay? make sure you lock in your stitches baby you do not want to be walking around and your skirt you know thinking you cute and your skirt is you know coming out and busting out at the seams <laughs> so y'all pay attention pay attention to that the lock stitches okay And the good thing about using bandanas is they already have a seam or a hem. So you don't have to hem anything unless you cut it, unless you cut the hem off. Oh, I know why it's shaking. I have my machine set to the highest um, speed. Let me see. Did somebody say I was giving them a headache? Miss Deborah Fugerson, welcome in, Queen. Did I speak to you, Tam Tam? Welcome in, Queen. So who's going to pull out their sewing machine and sew some bandana shirt, uh, skirt, or what have you? I mean, it don't have to be a skirt. It could be anything. And no, I am not putting a lining in this skirt because I am going to um, um, rouge it up like a gather. And so you should not be able to see through it, okay? But if you can see through it, <laughs> uh oh, I don't know. Just say hello. My name is. Hello. My name is. And move on about your day, honey. Okay. Maybe you can wear some black underwear. Y'all, this don't look right. Let me see something. I want to check this before I sew it. Okay, I got it right. Um, just say hello. My name is. <laughs> I got 
got you, Passion Lee. I got you, Tracy. Boo boo. I wonder if Queen Journey wants her a uh, um a uh, uh, bandana dress. I should call her. I should call her and ask her if she would like a bandana dress. Wonder. Call her, I'm sure she'll say yes, man. So y'all, I kind of did um, three back stitches at the top and at the bottom, just so I make sure my stuff stays <laughs> intact, honey. Intact. Because I'm telling you, it's nothing like going somewhere and somebody say, oh, that's so cute. And then, you know, where you get it from? And then you say, I made it. And then you walk, you walk away like, yeah, I made it. And then, you know, <laughs> all your business is hanging out in the back. Okay. Y'all, I don't know why this camera's shaking so bad. That's got me aggravating. I mean, it's aggravating, okay? Let me see if that's going to help. Because it was not doing that before. Hey, Rudy. Welcome in, King. Oh, y'all, don't forget to share the live if you're capable. I would appreciate it. So, as I was saying before, if you want your skirt longer than my skirt, what you do is you take the same amount of panels that you use for the top and you just add that to the bottom. So I have three bandanas going across the top and three going across the bottom. I mean, I'm sorry, three in the front and three in the back, right? Um, if you use four, so you would use four in the front, four in the back, and then four at the bottom and four in the back at the bottom. So that means you're gonna have eight panels in the front and eight panels in the back for a total of 16. Hopefully that's clear. We're going to the ironing board, you guys. So meet me back at the iron so that we can so um press out our seams and also we want to put our pieces back together. So give me one second. We'll be back at the ironing board. Y'all, I be trying to have everything ready, but you know, stuff happens. I'm sorry. Um, hold on. Let me put the camera back. I wish it was a quicker way to do this as well, but it's not. All right. Thank you to the 30 people in the building. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. All right. So take out our pins and so this is our bandana and all we're going to do is press out all of the seams you want these seams to be flat y'all i'm ironing can y'all believe that 
your girl is over here about to earn lord have mercy but it's necessary for this project y'all that's the only reason i'm over here doing it because y'all know other than that see how this is too it's too much and i want to press them flat i don't want them to be one-sided And once I'm going to turn it over so you can see what that looks like after you press the seam. This is why I don't like ironing. You see how long this takes? This works my nerves, hunty. But it is part of sewing, y'all. It's the correct way to do things. I was told. So, y'all see? how that looks and so you just do them all so we have six of these to do so it's going to take a few minutes and then we will um sew our panels our three panels together so three for the front and three for the back insert our pockets and then complete the skirt okay so i guess i should put me a timer on and hopefully within the next hour we will be completed hopefully you know we could get it done faster but if not let's at least give ourselves an hour honey we don't want to be rushing nothing because uh, sewing takes time if you don't have this stuff prepped. So if I would have, oh, oh, okay. If I would have prepped this prior to the live, it wouldn't have taken so long. But y'all know we are beginners over here. So people need to see the start and the finish. The start and the finish from beginning to end. And that's what I'm trying to provide. So while I have some of the um, the channel members in the chat, um, if you guys could put something in the chat um, that you would like for me to do on this channel, I would appreciate it. I've been asking this question for a while now, and I don't get answers. Or are you okay with what I am showing you? Is there something that you need to know? Or am I showing you enough or not enough? I don't know. Give me some kind of something, something, something. Because I do want to please you, you guys. I do want to be able to provide what you need on this channel. Thank you, Crafty Leo. I appreciate you, Queen. And it's nothing like showing people the advanced stages of this. But what don't I don't want to leave the person behind who needs to know it all, you know? Because I'm gonna be honest, when I started sewing, I needed to know it all because I ain't know nothing. And I still don't know nothing, but I'm willing to learn anything. Thank you, Sleazy. I appreciate you, Queen. I appreciate it. Okay, y'all. We got three more. We, we getting there. It's, it's coming. So, like I say, this is all a part of sewing. This is the part that I do not like. I'm, I'm being honest. I'm just being honest. I do not like pressing out seams. I don't really like ironing, um, but it does make your work look professional and when you're ironing the seams or ironing your garments it locks in it helps to seal the stitches heat helps to seal your stitches y'all write that down heat helps seal the stitches that's why you always see people ironing their their uh stitches or the seams 
because you're actually helping your stitches to kind of melt together if if that's if that's what you want to call it they're not actually melting but they are like going on top of one another if i can say that rx i don't know how to make any of this i enjoy just watching whatever you make thank you rx i appreciate you queen um thank you mary i appreciate you mary i saw you live the other night girl playing your game but i was like oh but no i'm not gonna go down that way behold <laughs> But I will go back and like the video for you and give you some WHs. Um, so we just, we got two more left, you guys. If at least one person gets something out of what you are giving, that's, that's a win-win there. It's always a tip or something. Okay, thank you, Crafty Leo. I appreciate that, Queen. I just want to be, you know, I don't want people to be channel members for nothing. I want to, you know, I want you guys to be satisfied. So I appreciate each and every one of you for becoming a channel member. I really do. Um, only God knows how grateful I am for you all because without you, there would be no me. I will be over here sewing and talking to myself, okay? So please understand that I am grateful that you are here. And I understand every Tuesday you cannot be here. But the days that you come, trust and believe I am grateful. Oh, y'all don't forget the hyperthon is this Saturday. The Hyperthon is Saturday, March the 11th, starting at midnight Eastern Standard Time. But don't forget that Big Rooster is bringing in the Hyperthon. Now, I can't remember whose channel, but y'all watch out for his community page, and I'm sure he's going to post it over there. But y'all charge all that to my head, not my heart, because baby, <laughs> Your girl got 500,000 things that she be doing, and I can't remember everything. Y'all see, I started giving me a notebook. I got that from Coach Mary Ma. She said, write everything down. Child, I've been writing everything down. Now, the thing is, I write it down, then I forget to look at it. <laughs> so I still got work to do. <laughs> I still got work to do. Hey, J3GS Forms, welcome in, King. Okay, y'all, we got one last one. This is we're coming to the finish line of this. Coming to the finish line of ironing the seams. And if y'all did not catch Tori's brain last night, <laughs> the honey slanger is in the chat, baby. <laughs> y'all. I'll be cracking up. Cracking up. And for the ones that's catching the replay, um, I may say some things that you know nothing about. Just pay attention to what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> okay. And Miss, I forgot to stir up Miss Sammy Joe, y'all, before she left. See? I can't remember everything, but I sure do appreciate her for coming a channel member. Yes, it was hilarious. Triple Threat says we use a steamer at times, but I got I get clothes out of the dryer while the clothes are hot and then hang them up. Okay, Triple Threat. I'm trying to tell you, baby, because I used to iron all of my clothes and all of my kids clothes especially when they were in school every sunday i would I, so i would um or saturdays i would wash the clothes and then i would iron all of their school uniforms so i guess your girl got burnt out on that honey because that's for the birds and then maybe too because i'm using the miniature iron 
it takes a little longer for you to iron out whatever you need to iron. So maybe if I had a regular iron on this side, it would help. Okay, y'all. So this is what we have. Oh, y'all, look. This matched up so perfect. Look at this. Look at this. Can y'all see? Look at that. And I didn't even... So it really wasn't intentional. But um, <laughs> it worked out. Can y'all see it? Let me know in the chat if y'all see how perfect that lined up. Unintentional, but it, 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 did, it did what it was supposed to do. All right, so the, we have this piece. All right, y'all, so this is where we have to figure out how I want this skirt to look. Okay, so I have this. And if I put this, this would be just like this. So it would be two, uh-oh, wrong side, sorry. So it would be, I don't want it like that. I want this. Nope, I don't want that either. Let me find another piece. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so this would be here. this okay so we will put this together and then that okay then we will come back with this one hold on we will come back with this one okay so this is going to be my front all right, so this is how this is going to go. This is the back. I mean, this is the front. And I'm going to sew this seam down, right? Yep. And then once I flip it, I'm going to have this on top of this. Like that. Okay. So these three will be the front panel. Oh, shoot. I just turned it the wrong way, y'all. See that? Hold on. Hallelujah. Okay, so I need this to be like this. Just like that. Okay, so don't move, doggy. Don't you move. All right. So. That will be like this. All right. We have these three ready to go. All right. So now let's try to figure out the back part. So this is, this is one. So this one will look like this. Okay, and then from here, we're going to turn this one like this. Yes. Okay, so this is that, and this is the back. I'm going to leave the back on the table <laughs> so that when I get to the sewing machine, I won't get confused. So now... Let's go to the sewing machine, go back to the sewing machine and sew these three panels together and then it will start to make more sense. So give me a second. Let's get back to over here. All right. So this is my first two. I'm just going to move the last panel out of my way. I'm not changing up anything. I'm just going to sew these together with my uh, three eighths of an inch, lining them up the best way I can. Because remember, some are short and some are long, but it's going to be okay in the end. I promise you. Okay, so now the same stitch length, 2.0. And I forgot to tell y'all, but I'm using my patchwork. Singer sewing machine and it automatically tells you the tension. 
I never have to move it unless I need to loosen up my tension. So y'all keep that in mind. But but if I did have to put my tension on, I would probably be sewing this between a three and a four. Okay. I would be sewing it with the between a three and a four tension. So we're going to start and stop in the at the top and then just sew straight down until we get to the bottom. Okay. Make sure you put enough back stitches at the top of this skirt. Well, and the bottom, okay? And I'm just adjusting my, my, my fabric. That's all I'm doing. gonna go all the way to the bottom and the only thing i'm checking is just to make sure that when i get to the bottom over the seams i want them to stay flat so you just make sure that they stay open all right so we have this panel these are two panels put back together or put together all right so let me see if y'all can see in this camera what i have so this is what we have right here if y'all can see it i know that the camera the thing is in the way but you should be able to see it so we left off on this end so all i'm going to do is take this one panel the other one is over here okay I'm going to take this one panel and I'm going to get my other panel, the one that we have for our last panel, and lay it down right on top of this. So I need it to be, hold on, y'all. Okay, I forgot. We ended up, hold on. I moved it and I got it mixed up out of the, okay, this is the way I think it goes. Nope, it don't go this way. Hold on. It's going this way. Okay, just like this. Just like this. All right, so all I'm doing now is just lining them up. I'm just lining them up. And I know it's hard for y'all to see, but I'm so sorry. Just line it up, lining it up, and then I'm just going to take it to the sewing machine and sew it straight down. All of this is straight stitches for this process. Um, oh, sound like I lost a three, but let me go check it in just a second. Hold on. Oh, no. It's good. and you can if you choose to go back and serge your edges or zigzag stitch them if you would like like I missed a piece of it so let me just check it you guys because I don't want no holes in my skirt I don't know how it got loose under there all right so I'm using white thread and white bobbin thread so I was able to see it on top of this purple so we have these three panels sewn we will sew the next three okay we will sew the next three. So hold on. Let me get the other three. I'm just cutting off the um, the threads that I don't need. 
All right. So I'm going to put this one to the side and we're going to do the next piece. Same thing, straight stitch all the way down. Um, lock in your stitches when you start and stop. Three eighths of an uh, inch seam allowance is what we are creating. I mean, using. So next we'll be putting our pockets in and sewing those down. But I'm going to bring it back to the table so you guys can see it. I'm just cutting off my extra threads. Okay. So now I'm just going to open up my skirt. Wait, let me show y'all. Let me see. I'm going to make myself big so y'all can see right quick what I'm doing. Hold on. Um, just for those who need to see this, that's, that's what I'm doing. So I did, I sewed those two pieces together, right? And so when you open it up, this is what you should have. Those two pieces should be sewn together. So now I'm going to take it back to the sewing machine to sew the third piece on here. And then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. So I just wanted you guys to see that. So I'll just open this up on the third, on this side, and then we're adding our third piece i didn't move it this time you guys so hopefully it's in the right direction and it don't look like it <laughs> okay let me let me uh clip this thread and i didn't even move it but it moved Okay, hold on. I, I'm confused now. I want this dark purple at the bottom. But it won't go to the bottom. Let me see. Can it go to the bottom? This way it'll go to the bottom. Okay, here we go. Let's roll with this side. Let's roll with this one. Mike's Chaotic Garden, welcome in. One Busy Mama, welcome in, Queen. We almost um, getting to the, putting the pockets into the skirt, you guys. So just give me a minute. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you all. If I missed anybody in the chat, I apologize. Okay, this is our last panel to sew. Before we put the pockets and sew the skirt together, we have to gather the skirt first. you guys can get a bigger look because my table is small and I don't want to come I don't know let me ask the chat if I take it to the table will you guys be able to understand how to put the pockets in 
or would you prefer me to do it on the floor i don't know which angle is good enough for you guys to see so i'll just wait for a couple of people to answer as i set this up or get ready to set it up y'all just let me know i feel like a schooler a scholar after watching your lives you give great details oh thank you casper's creations i appreciate that queen let me see if i missed anybody in the chat thank you for sharing out crafty leo i appreciate you queen liz b journey hey queen thank you for being a purple patch crew member and thank you for being here okay i don't think i missed anybody um and if i did i apologize y'all get this done let's see it on the table okay cool thank you queen all right let's do the table all right here we go to the table so let me kind of move the pins around so i won't get that oh that iron is still hot it's off but it's hot okay and these are my pockets okay so let's let me show you what we have this is what you should have these are i'm right back to my three panels in the front can y'all can y'all see that so this is the pattern that we have this is what we have right here okay so what we have to and this is my back panel so what we have to do now this is the edge of my skirt on one side right this is the edge of my skirt on one side let me use my rocks to keep this on the table so it won't fall can y'all understand butter roll boutique welcome in queen all right so this is the one end of my skirt now i'm just determining that this is i mean um i want this my skirt to be facing this way so i'm just looking at it and and y'all don't be anal like me okay just pick a side but y'all know um yeah i guess we can leave it all right we just gonna leave it so anywho this is the this is the back panel this is the back of my skirt all right this is the edge of my skirt okay so what we gonna do is take our pocket piece you should have cut out four four pieces because you need two for one pocket and two for the other pocket okay so my um pockets are solid so it does not matter if it's um i mean technically it does not matter if your pocket piece is not facing the correct way like they are not right sides together because they are solid but if you had a directional fabric pay attention to that what you would do for directional fabric is once this just consider this to be my fold of my fabric so i'm folding my fabric right i fold it so i have one piece down here and one piece up here i would take my pattern piece on the fold lay it up against my fold that i folded on my fabric right and i would cut right i would cut it out and then if my fabric is directional i would take this same pattern and just imagine this being on another fold and i would flip it i would flip it and so this would be my fold and i would line this up on my fold and cut it out this way that's the only way you can do directional fabric for pockets if if your pockets have directional fabric but if you just have solid colors you can layer your fabric to have four pieces and cut this 
out at one time. I'm hoping that I make sense, right? If it's directional, you fold it, you lay it on the fold, and you cut it out. And then you will fold your fabric again. So just imagine this being another fold. You flip it. So y'all see the words is right here. When I flip it, you don't see the words, but it goes to my other fold. And so when I cut this out, I should have two pieces of fabric right here and two pieces of fabric from this side. This will be your left and your right, your left and your right pockets. Y'all pay attention, pay attention. But your girl is using plain fabric. So it does not matter how I cut it. And if you don't care about, you know, your pockets being, you know, the right way, you ain't got to worry about it. Just cut it. Just cut it. So what I'm going to do for you guys is I will put an X on my pocket so you know that this is the wrong, since I have one solid color, this is considered my ugly side of my fabric, okay? So what I want to do is, and I just, I did the wrong side, but it's okay. Let me get another one. I did it on the wrong side, baby. Not, not that. I, I, that's going to be for the other pocket. So this is my pretty side and this is my ugly side. And how do I know that? Because I cut my fabric straight across on the fold. It matches my pattern piece. Okay. So now this is my ugly side. Let me, let me, let me back up. Hold on. The pretty side of the fabric. So this is the way you will see your skirt. You will see this side right here, right? This is the pretty side of your pocket piece. You're going to lay the pretty side of your pocket piece against the pretty side of your skirt or whatever you're using, pants, skirt, what have you, right? I'm going to do my measurements just right now. Give me one second. Okay. So from the top of my skirt, I am going to measure my two and a half inches down on all sides. I pray to God I am not confusing anybody. Why did I do two and a half inches? Because the top portion of this is my seam allowance. If y'all, well, let me do one that has a color. The top portion of this will be my seam allowance. So if I would have put my pockets up here at the top, then they would be probably close, too close to my seam allowance. So therefore, I brung them down two and a half inches. Y'all stay with me. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I pinned this together. When I go to the sewing machine, the only thing I'm going to do is start and stop back stitch and stitch straight down to the edge of my pocket don't go no further start and stop so let me just show you i'm gonna put a little x i'm gonna start right here and i'm gonna stop right here on the sewing machine with a straight stitch can y'all see i don't know if y'all can see those two x's but start and stop straight stitch all the way down okay so now I'm shifting my skirt to the other side. So let me move this stuff on down the road. All right. So now we're on the other side of the skirt. I'm going to just put that there and that there. So now we're going to get our pocket piece. This is the other one that I marked the X on. Pretty side to the pretty side of my fabric, okay? And I'm going to measure two and a half inches down. You want these to be uh, as straight as you can from one side of the your skirt or your 
jeans, whatever you whatever you're sewing, you want this to be some even. Okay, so when you go to the sewing machine, they will line up. Um, I'm looking for a pen. Okay, hold on. Am I confusing anybody? Oh, you can see them. Okay, I love the color mixture in the fabric. Thank you, Queen. I'm learning a lot while cooking. <laughs> don't burn yourself, um, uh, Fisher J. Mia. Please don't. In other words, if directional fabric, you must have a mirrored imp. Yes, Chris. Yes. Thank you for the terminology, girl, because you know your girl over here be saying some stuff. Okay? She be saying some stuff. So now what I'm going to do is I'm cutting this off because it's not, it's not even. I'm going to make sure that my pocket piece is even. So all I'm going to do is lay my skirt down on each other and line that up and line my pockets up. And they are even. Y'all can't see it, but y'all will in a minute. But you can see it. Look, they line up right on top of each other. So let me tell you again, pretty side fabric, this is what people will see to the pretty side of your pocket. Line it up and do the same thing on the opposite side of your skirt. So your left and your right for your back panel should be complete right now. So now we will do the front piece. So let me move this out the way. And we will do this side. So now we're working on the front of the skirt. And I just want to see which way I want to lay this out. And I guess. I can do it like this. No, I want to, I'm going to turn it around. Okay, so there we go. We got our sides picked. And let me put my, what I did with props. Okay. All right. So we're going to do the other side of the package now. I will mark it for you guys so you can see what's the pretty side and what's the ugly side. And hopefully when we, Y'all, I'm looking for the other one. That's why I'm moving around. Now, where is it? Where you at? Okay, I'm going to find it. It fell off the table somewhere. Um, And hopefully, okay, there we go. When we get to the sewing machine, you will be able to see the X, okay? So, this is my other, this is my other pocket. So, this is my ugly side. Where? <laughs> Y'all, I'm losing everything. Where? Oh, okay. This is the ugly side. All right. So what I'm doing is measuring down two and a half inches on this one. The same two and a half inches because you want this front to match up with the back of the skirt hold on let me see all right so we got that taken care of and i'm just straightening it out it's probably gonna be hard for you guys to see because it's purple on purple but pay attention to the x okay so this is the pretty side of my skirt to the pretty side of my pocket and I'm going to pin this in place right here. All right, got that side. So now we are going to move the skirt to the other side so we can do the same exact thing over here. So my pocket piece this is the wrong side. And if y'all need to do this, do that. You won't see it. You won't see it. 
it's gonna be on the in, um the other side of the inside of the skirt anyway i mean inside of your pockets okay so we're going to take and measure the same two and a half inches all right and just straighten it out as much as you can and then pin it so now we have both pockets in the skirt so i am going to attempt to lay them on top of one another just so we can make sure but it's so long i don't know we just gonna try um and see what we come up with so this is the front of my skirt that i have laying down already and i'm just going to try to match it up with the bottom of my skirt once i turn it around the right way all right so here we go this is the back of my skirt to the front of my skirt and this is my pocket Hopefully y'all can, okay, am I in the camera? I think I'm in the camera. And we have, let's see if we lined up. So this is the skirt and that's the pockets. And we are close. We semi-close, close, close, maybe like a, a pinch off. All right, so now all we're doing is going to the sewing machine and on each side, side of the pocket let me get one that y'all can see on each side of the pocket take it to the sewing machine and just stitch straight down from start i mean from the top of your pocket to the bottom of your pocket one straight stitch that's it on all four of them that's all we're doing and then we're gonna come back to the table so hold on let me get myself situated over here meet me back at the sewing machine honey all right so I'm going to do the back pocket, I mean the back of my skirt first. So I'm, okay, here y'all go. So I'm just lining this up so that it will stay straight. That's all I'm doing. I'm not moving anything. I'm not doing anything. I still have a 2.0 stitch length on my sewing machine. And like I said before, my my um what is it called my <laughs> oh tension is automatic okay so all i'm gonna do is put my press the foot down hopefully y'all can see it's not in the way okay and i'm just going to create a straight stitch and i want to stay as close to the edge of my skirt as possible so what I did was I just moved my needle more to the right. Put your fabric down, but move your needle if you have to more to the right or the left, depending on how you sew, okay? And so now I'm just going to start stitching. And make sure you do a couple of back stitches because this is going to be used a lot. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. I'm just making sure I caught all of my fabric. So can y'all see? You start at the top of your pocket and then you end at the bottom of your pocket. Okay. And so when you do that and you, oh, and I'll show you this again at the table, you open it up. This is what you should have. So now I'm gonna just do the other side and then I'll do the, the other the other part of the skirt and then I'll show you what it looks like. And then I'll show you how to put them together.
Now I'm doing the front of the skirt. So hold on. We almost done with this part. Yes, Sleazy, you got to have pockets on the skirt. You got to have pockets on your skirt. You got to have pockets on your shorts. And you definitely need pockets on your pants, baby. Okay? They cheat women a lot with clothes because if you, you know, wearing women's clothes, because they don't give us a lot of pockets. If you buy a pair of, a pair of man jeans, baby, you got 10 pockets in the back, five on the side, three in the front. Like, they don't need all them pockets. But they get all the pockets. I'm telling you. They get all of the pockets. They only got one wallet. Shucks. <laughs> Long as we see the wallet, honey, that's all that matters. Sleazy, she can wear that too many places in Louisiana. You will have to do a pocket dance and post it in the short. Okay, Mary. Y'all, I don't know how to do shorts, y'all. I'm not good at it. I'm really not. I, I don't know how to, uh, I don't understand it. But I post them sometimes, but I'm not good with the shorts, y'all. I'm working on all of that. I'm working on all of that. Did y'all see the merch store? I know it's only two, um designs in it right now and you know people may not be feeling it which is cool wanted to put it on or turn it on so that when i do start uploading new designs it won't take so long because youtube has to approve the store before they release it and so i was giving them they said six to eight days but it only took them two so I was just giving them time to do whatever they was going to do, child. All right, so we got this part done. We're going back to the table. I'm just making sure that I didn't miss this stitch. Hold on. And I'm going to tell y'all why I keep missing it. Because the pocket does not have... The pocket is flat. But the bandana has a seam. And it keeps moving. But it's okay because I caught it. Your girl caught it in time. Okay, I'm gonna just check the set the other one that I did just to make sure on the other side. Okay, I think we good. Okay, let's go back to the table and let me show you how to put this together. Okay. I meant Kent in Los Angeles, Rooster. No bandanas in Cali. Not even the purple ones? They need more wallets. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. They do. But they need wallets with something in it, child. Not just, you just don't need a wallet. You need to have something in it. I need it to win it. Okay, this is the front of my skirt. Y'all don't ask me how I keep remembering that. I don't know. I'm probably switching it up. Okay, so I got my pockets sewn on right so let me show you how we gonna do this i'm wondering if i should go ahead on and rouge my skirt now before um so this is the packet on one side i gotta turn my iron on too real quick because you want to iron this down just a little bit so that it'll stay flat. Just iron your pockets down so it'll stay flat. Okay, it's attached. It didn't look like it was attached.
all right so this is one side this is the back side of my skirt on one side i have this laying down laying out and let me put a rock right here so this will stay hold on all right and then this is the what i with this the front this the back okay um And so I'm just going to iron this down, my pocket down. And I'm going to match it up. So y'all look, this is the ugly side. This is the pretty side. This is the pretty side. This is the ugly side, okay? My skirt at the bottom is facing to the pretty side. This part of the skirt in the top one is facing the pretty side so it's pretty side to pretty side and then i'm just going to match my pockets up and match my skirt up at the top make it even okay make this even and then i'm going to um pin my pockets so that they don't move All right, I got a pin in my pocket. And then I'm going to pin the top of my skirt so that it doesn't move. All right. Just the top, just the pocket. That's it. Moving my skirt all the way down. I would do the same thing on this side, but um, y'all can't hardly see it. Let me see if I can move it. It's a lot of skirt, y'all, okay? Y'all think that's not a lot, but it's a lot. Okay, so I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. Line this up. Line my pockets up. Just like this. Let me iron that down so they'll stay flat. And then, hey, Crafty Puerto Rican, welcome in, Queen. And then I'm going to pin. Oops, sorry, y'all. I'm all in the way. Pin my pockets together. And then I'm going to pin the top of my skirt together and line it up just like this just like that just like that so now what i'm going to do is since i left this part of the top of my skirt open i'm going to take this to the sewing machine and do a running stitch so that I can gather my skirt. So let me just tell y'all what I'm going to do. I am going to take a running stitch starting from here and you wanna leave a tail on the, the, the end of your threads about this long or longer, okay? Make sure that they long, the tails are long. I am just going to take a running stitch and go all the way across to the end of the top layer because i also left this piece undone and then i'm going to leave a tail over here as well then i'm just going to flip my skirt and do the same exact thing for the back side leave a tail do a running stitch all the way across the skirt till I get to the opposite side and leave another running stitch. If you are afraid of gathers and your thread comes apart or you break your thread because you're pulling too much, please stitch two rows of stitching. So you would do one row all the way across to the end and come back and do another row right next to it all the way across to the end. So what I'll do is I will do two running stitches on one side so I can show you what that looks like. And then on the other 
the back side or the whatever side i'll just do one running stitch because i'm comfortable with doing gathers i'm comfortable with do doing gathers how many bandanas was this uh six um miss chris three panels three bandana panels in the front the only thing i did was split them in half but they are six panels six bandanas total all right so we're going back to the sewing machine do you guys understand what i'm saying about the running stitches so with that being said when you do your running stitch you want your tension to be on its loosest stitch so this is where i would have to move my tension and mine goes to a four the highest tension on my machine is the number four okay I'm also going to change my stitch length. The highest length on my machine is a 4.8. 4.8. Your machine may go up to a 9.0, a 5.5. Whatever your highest stitch length is, that's what your machine should be set on. Grammy's journal said yes. Okay. Hey, Tracy, with no ease. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. This is the top of one side of my skirt. This is the other side, right? I'm not going to, I'm not going to play with this side right now. I'm just taking the top portion of my skirt at the top and i'm doing a running stitch i'm going to pull my threads out so i have long a long tail this is how much i have over here okay you want to start with a long tail and then put your your presser foot down and put your needle in your thingy in your fabric all right and then you just sew and you're just doing a straight stitch all the way across don't forget to change your stitch length people because if you don't you're not going to be able to get the, the gathers your stitches will be too tight you have to have the loosest stitch that's on your machine and you do not back stitch don't back stitch just start stitching all the way across is mine gathering already? Yep. y'all can see in the machine in the camera my my skirt is already gathering And I'm coming to the other end of my skirt. I'm going to stop. I'm going to show y'all. Just hold on. Give me a second, y'all. Don't stop your, don't, don't backstitch. Uh, lift your presser foot up and pull you some th thread off of your machine. Look, this is how much thread I have uh, coming off of my machine and I'm going to cut it, all right? So now I have this one side done. I'm just taking and doing the opposite side of my skirt. I'll just have to show you guys on the, on the table because I know that this camera is not the best um angle and whatnot but 
I'll show you in a minute. So make sure you pull enough thread for the second set. Pull your thread. I have my thread. Is the tail is all the way over here. And I'm just going to do the same exact thing. Do not back stitch. Just start sewing. gathering this so I would skirt uh together we will attach the t-shirt and then we will I got just one other thing to do and then we will we'll be done so I'm I'm hoping like in the next 30 minutes pray for me ha <laughs> ha that's all I can say make a tail on this side I'm gonna bring it to the table just so you guys can see so hold on I'll bring it to the table I'll show you what we have. And so can y'all see the gathers? Can y'all see the skirt has already gathered itself? If your stitch is long enough, you will get these gathers, okay? Now, you can determine if you want more gathers because you can just take the threads, that you left out, let you that you left hanging. You're going to determine which thread is the top or the bottom stitch or piece of thread, right? So if my skirt is facing the wrong way, which it is, this is the wrong side, this is considered my bottom thread that's on the wrong side of the fabric. The top thread is facing the good side of my fabric. So that's how you can determine what's the top and what's the bottom, okay? So now I want to take either the top or the bottom thread to make my gathers. I normally use the bottom thread. A lot of people say use the top thread because it's easier, but for me, it's easier to use the bottom thread. So. I'm going to take the bottom thread and I'm just going to gather my skirt even more. So can y'all see it when I'm pulling and shifting the fabric? Pulling and shifting the fabric. I'm holding on to this thread and I'm just shifting my fabric along the thread, okay? And you just keep doing that until you get the gathers you want or desire for your skirt thank you butter Row boutique i appreciate you queen and so you just keep shifting your fabric do not pull the thread too tight y'all because if you do it will break and you will have to start this process all over again so just take your time i mean take your time it's you it's cause for patience honestly because it's a lot it's a lot of work and so i'm just moving my gathers in just moving them in and so what oh i took the wrong thread hold on y'all you only need one if you pull both of them it's like locking your stitches in All right, so I got enough over here. This is one side. I'm going to come to the other side because I left it open. I'm going to find the bottom thread and do the same exact thing on this side, okay? And sometimes you can take like a pen or your, um, or your thread cutter. What is it called? Um seam ripper to just separate your thread that's what it is the seam ripper i'm just taking a stick pen a, um, 
a pin. So now I'm just going to shift this fabric going in the other direction because I want my gathers to be a little bit closer. I always pull the bobbin thread, bobbin thread. Yep, yep, the bottom. That's what I use. Whoop, I'm here. Hey, Miss Rochelle. Welcome in, Queen. So I'm just looking at my gathers. And you can still adjust this. So this is not like the in all, in all, okay? But I'm just trying to see what mine are looking like so far. And a lot of people don't like this but what i do is once i find a medium for my gathers i tie one side of it off because i don't want it to move i still have this side to play with if i choose to um to make them you know a little wider or what have you i still have one side to play with but Y'all do what y'all want to do. I don't know. This is just the unbiased way. And they have several people, you know, who actually do that as well. So now I'm going to do the front of my skirt. The same exact thing. I'm going to find my bobbin thread, which is the bottom thread. And I'm just going to shift my gathers in. Y'all forgot to tell me to do the two rows. So... I guess I have to do that next time. I'm sorry. But if you take your time, you won't break your thread. So now I'm just going to the other side and doing the same exact thing. So I did one side, the front, and now I'm doing the back. And like I say, you take a stick pin or something to separate your threads so that you can get your bottom or your top, whichever one you prefer. Because everybody do stuff different. I know most left-handers kind of use the top. But I don't know. Do what works for you. Okay, so now I just want to make sure that my gathers semi-look alike. Because <laughs> they not going to be perfect. But they semi-look alike. Okay. And so I will tie off the other side. And you just put like two little, two little knot, two little, just tie it twice. If I could ever get it in the hole. Okay, tie it twice. Just so it will stay and lock in. And I cut that part off. So now this is what we have. We have all of our gathers gathered, okay? Hey, Miss Tan Yu. Welcome in, Queen. Okay, thank y'all for being here. Okay, so we have our gathers. So this is what we have. Y'all, we almost matched the top of this skirt perfectly. I didn't even know that. But ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. Okay, so now this is what we're going to do. Pay attention. I'm just going to lay my skirt down because now I just want to make sure that my shirt, my shirt that we cut earlier in half because I wanted it to be um, short, right? So it's kind of like a halter shirt, t-shirt, regular t-shirt. I cut it in half, basically. I want to make sure that my gathers are not too small for my shirt, okay? So I am going to have to sift this out some. Do y'all see? My shirt and my gathers is too why it's too much gathering. Okay. It's gathered too much because I want this to be flat. So now I'll just have to play with that one side and and shift it out 
to make this fit inside my my shirt that's why i say i wear a medium shirt but this is a large and so this little baby doll dress will be big on me but it'll be okay for me it'll be okay so anyway let me um let me lay this down on the table let me see if i can do it on this table y'all hold on because i know it's a better angle for you guys so basically both of these ends are um already tied off so i'm just going to make sure that i grab my threads on this side and now i'm just gonna sit shift it back over and try to get it to the end and once i get it on the end i'm going to pin it so that it does not move while i work on the other part of the dress i hope this is making sense to you guys all right so i'm just gonna pin it right here so i have both layers of the shirt and i have the top layer of the skirt that's it and so now i'm just gonna undo some of my gathers to make it fit within my shirt so hopefully this makes sense and you may have to do it because you want this to sew in smooth y'all this shirt is so big i wonder if i could have cut the edges because <sighs> i'm losing my thread over here So y'all, I think I'm going to taper this in just a little bit because <laughs> I don't want my skirt to be like humongous. Okay. Don't do what I do. This is just for me. I don't know. Y'all may y'all may need to. I don't know. But I'm fixing to alter this just one second because I don't want mine to be huge. So hold on. Let me just take some of this bottom off. Where's my pink and shears? Um, y'all, what I did with the pink and shears? Mm. okay i found them sorry 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 okay i'm just gonna take off let me see let me fold this in half y'all i'm sorry i'm probably confusing everybody but uh, i just want to take this shirt in a little bit And you just want to make sure that your armpits and the top of your shirt, if you do this, <laughs> is even. Do I want to sew this back together? I don't want to keep y'all too much longer. Let me just keep it the same, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm just losing my mind over here not confusing for me but i've been sewing a while yeah i was gonna do it but i'm gonna just leave it y'all because i don't want to confuse nobody else i don't want to confuse anybody so we'll just leave it pin this back up oh i didn't do the bottom hold on y'all shoot now i'm confusing myself child okay so this is the part that we started And I'm going to just sift this out a little bit more. 
and hopefully it reaches the end of this shirt because it's big as I don't know what. And maybe I could just add it in. I could just move it around and add it in as I sew. But remember, cotton, this is cotton, 100% cotton. And then the, um, the bandana is 100% cotton as well. But they are different kind of. One is stretched and one is just regular. So I'm going to just stop right here. And just pray that we can sift this in to the shirt. Yeah, I'm going to make it work. So now I'm going to just turn it over on the other side and do the same thing. I just want to make sure that I have enough gathers on this side. Okay. All right, y'all. So what I'm about to do is I'm going to um, take my shirt off of here because I'm assuming I can get this in here, right? So now I just want to take this to the sewing machine and go ahead on and close up my skirt while I have a chance. And I think I'm losing my thread, so I'm trying to keep my my gathering closed that's just my little trick okay so what i'm doing now y'all is just taking my skirt to the sewing machine and sewing this straight down when i get to the pockets i'm going to sew all the way around the pockets and then come back close this off and then sew straight down that's it let me show y'all one more time because it may be confusing start at the top of your skirt sew down when you get to the package you're going to put your needle down turn your fabric and then you're just going to sew all the way around the pockets all the way around till you come back to the other end start and back stitch on both these sides and then you're just going to come straight down to close off your skirt so i'll do that and then i'll be getting our shirt and we'll just sew it in we we gonna figure the shirt part out. I'm telling y'all, it's just too big for me, but it's okay. Just a tip: you can measure two pieces of one fourth elastic, same size as the shirt, one for each side. Sew the elastic to the skirt while stretching the elastic to fit, and it will gather to connect the size every time. Oh, hey, Bob's with. Kyra's, Kyra's life. Welcome here, Queen. I'm new here. Saw you on R. Oh, thank you, RX Nails, for sharing me out. And thank you, Miss Vibes, for, for coming in, Queen. Chris, do you think I should do the elastic? I know exactly what you're talking about, but I don't want people to get confused because everybody don't know how to work with that. So I'm just fixing to go ahead on and close off my skirt. And y'all remember to put your stitch length back to two. Put your stitch length back to two. All right. Don't start sewing with your stitch length still on this widest stitch. Because you're going to gather up the side of your skirt and that's not what you want to do. Okay, so I hope, can y'all, oh, y'all can't see me at the sewing machine. I'm sorry. Hold on. All right, we at the sewing machine. I'm sorry. You already gathered it. You're good to go. Yep, I gathered it. Okay, so 
now we are coming up oh the battery okay y'all i gotta plug this phone up oh we better hurry up if y'all hear any echo let me know because sometimes this phone echoes all right so now we're coming up to our pocket we coming up to the pocket so let me show you you go down get to your pocket lift your presser foot up do y'all hear echo and now i'm shifting my fabric look i'm shifting my fabric so that i can turn to my pocket because now i want to sew around my pocket and i'm gonna start in back stitch again because your pockets are you know you use them a lot so you want to make sure that the, the stitches are secure and when you come to a corner you just pivot you just pivot your um you just pivot your material they said no echo or what i don't know i didn't hear i didn't see so now i'm coming to the end of my pocket i am going to um I'm going to lock those stitches in because like I say, the pocket is most is used. So you want to make sure that it's secure. Y'all hold on because it looks like. And you just after you close your pocket up you turn your stuff around again and then you just gonna continue to sew down straight And then I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just turning. Oh, and I'll show you guys at the table what the pockets look like and closed in, okay? So now I'm just doing the other side. Y'all remember, I still didn't get all my gathers on my skirt, but I'm going to... um I'm going to just feed it into the fabric. I, and I know I'm probably not going to be able to explain that to you all, but that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm coming up to my pocket. Um, I'm going to get to the beginning of my pocket I'm going to back stitch and then I'm gonna put leave my needle in my fabric and then turn it around I'm just turning it around everything at one time okay that's the I mean because you got to go around the corner so if you know how to go around corners that's exactly what I'm doing for the pocket
when you come to a corner you just leave your needle down and pivot your your fabric that's why i say if your sewing machine has the needle down position once your sewing machine stops you need to use it especially for pockets so i lost my I lost my place. Let me just readjust it. Okay, so I'm coming to the other side of my pocket and I'm going to start in back stitch. And then once I cross over, I'm just going to turn my fabric so I can sew straight down on the seam of my skirt. So now my skirt is going to be completely closed, completely closed now. Once I get this um, sewn. So we done with that and I will come to the table and show you all what this looks like. I just want to make sure that I got both sides of my pockets and I did. It's always good to check before you leave the sewing machine or what have you because or move on to the next part of your sewing. All right. So here we go. We're going to come to the table and I'm going to show you what this looks like. And then we will put the shirt inside of the skirt, okay? So, if I can lay this down. All right. So, we have our gathered skirt, right? This is the wrong side facing us, the wrong side. So, this is what I did at the sewing machine. Let me cut these threads. All right. So, what you do is, you start at the top of your skirt. You sew down. This is the beginning of the pocket. Start and back stitch right here. Pivot your um, fabric and then sew all the way around the pocket. Sew all the way around the pocket. Okay. Y'all see that? And then I came back to the, the end of the pocket start and back stitch and then just straight down to close the skirt off that's it um i barely caught the edge of this but it should be okay it should be tacked down but that's how you do pockets so this is the wrong sides of my skirt i closed up that two inch gap that was up here two and a half inch gap right here and then I sew all the way around the pocket, all the way around till I come to the end of the pocket, starting back stitch and then sew straight down. All right. I'm not going to, good, no complaints. How about you? The one and only Lady Zell. Welcome in, Queen. All right. So, hey, Nikki. Welcome in the, uh, the everyday life for the OCD shit. Um, okay. If I missed anybody, I apologize. My head was down, but I appreciate you all for being here. And okay. Hey, the best uni. Welcome in, Queen. You have no echo. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. My skirt is on the wrong side, y'all. This is the, the, the right side. This is the pretty side of my skirt, this part that's in the middle. This is the ugly side of my skirt that you see on the screen, right? My shirt, I am going to turn my shirt inside out. So y'all see the tag? 
I'm flipping my shirt inside out. Okay. Flip my shirt inside out. So now you see the tag on the top, right? So I'm just going to turn my shirt upside down because I want my shirt to be the same way of my skirt with the edges. Do y'all see that? I hope that makes sense. I'm going to, no, I want my shirt the other way. Hold on, y'all. Wait, 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 wait. I want this to be because I want to have my, I don't want the ruffles on the outside of my skirt. Hold on. So the pretty side, the pretty side. So this is the top of my, and this is the bottom of my skirt. I'm going to feed my shirt inside. Inside the shirt, the skirt. Oh, y'all, look, I just lost my thread. Lucky I got one. I'm tying that sucker out because I don't want it to move. I did leave a little slack just in case I had to fix some gathers in there. All right. So let's pin this together, okay? I've been well. Okay, you have you been? No problem. Okay. Hey, Jerry. Welcome in, Jerry's talk. Okay, y'all. I'm sorry. So my shirt is. Let me just explain that one more time. My shirt is the right way. It's the right way. I'm just flipping it in so that both of my edges will be like this. Okay. So then I'm just going to feed my shirt into the skirt. Because you want the pretty sides to be together. And so I'm just going to match my seam of my t-shirt or where my armpits at, because this one doesn't actually have a seam, to the seam of my skirt. Okay? And I'm going to pin it. That's the starting point. And do that on both sides because the t-shirt stretches so you can actually um like feed it into the fabric i mean feed it into the skirt but you at least want the want the seams to match this is one of those seamless t-shirts Okay, so this is what we're doing here. Just matching up the seams of the arms. I'm getting, I'm thinking I'm getting it as close as I can because it doesn't have any seams. So we just going to pray about that, honey. All right, so now this should be what you have. And so now I'm just going to try to get a middle point and pin this off. What looks like the middle to me, so I don't know. 
you find your middle i'm telling y'all this shirt is so big <laughs> and then once i cut it you know t-shirts taper off at the bottom and once i cut it it's it got bigger so bear with me and we just gonna make it work so with this um this next piece you're gonna do a zigzag stitch because you're working with a stretch material and a non-stretch material and you want them both to, to stay together so i'm just gonna try my best to feed my t-shirt will feed my gather skirt into the t-shirt so i'm gonna just have to play with it till i can get where am i oh play with it until i can get most of the shirt into the skirt and i think i'm gonna start gathering the shirt on the sides like on my on the uh for the inseams i can't tell y'all how to do it oh look this is coming to loose I'm going to have to fix this at the machine. I don't know what happened. But let me hurry up and get it to the machine because I don't want to have to regather it. I'm going to fix it. <laughs> I'm always fixing something. <laughs> Lord have mercy. But it's always going cray cray over here, okay? Thank you, Ray Charlotte, for the super sticker. I appreciate you, Queen. We twerking for cash, twerking for cash, twerking for cash, purple patch crew. Thank you. Oh, Jared, congratulations on hitting 1,200 on your main channel, King. Okay, y'all, we back at the sewing machine. All right. So if anybody... I'm going to take the arm of my, or the bed of my sewing machine off so I have some room to work with, honey. Because uh, now your girl is a little, a little nervous. But if y'all know me, y'all know that I'm going to fix it. Whatever I have to do to fix it, I'm going to fix it. And I'm going to start with that side first since it's already coming to loose. So I just want to grab the top of my shirt or one part of my shirt and the top of that, the part of that skirt, okay? That's the only thing that should be in or underneath the sewing machine. And yes, I know it looks crazy, but you have to separate, you have to separate that. So right now I'm just trying to see how can I get the gathers back in my, and I'm going to start at the seam, y'all. I'm going to start at the seam, but I want to try to get the gathers back in my shirt. I mean, in my skirt. I have to do a little finessing on that. So let me try to lay it down first. Put it under your sewing machine and don't forget to change your sewing machine to a zigzag stitch. Zigzag stitch to close this off, people. Okay, so let me change my machine while I'm talking. And that's the number three on my machine. And I'm going to do it at a 3.0 um, zigzag stitch. Okay. Yeah, I got to work it out, Nanny, because huh, it's okay, though. Um, Y'all, just don't get frustrated. So, had I did two rows of gathers, I would not be having this issue. Okay? But I'm going to fix this because that's what I do. And 
I'm going to make this work just how it is. Zigzag stitch, and mine is at a 3.0 zig, zigzag, okay? The length. Do not, well, I can't say don't stretch your shirt because mine already did. So, I don't know what to tell you. But I'm going to add my shirt with my skirt, if that makes sense. I know some people in the chat already know how to do this. And start in backstitch. And if you have a serger, you could definitely use that the serger for this part. I need to change my needle on mine, so I ain't want to fool with it. So this is why I'm doing it like this. It will be faster and quicker with the serger. Just saying. But y'all know me. I got to do everything, you know, the hard way, I guess. But the reward is the end product, okay? Y'all, I'm just concentrating. I'm sorry for being so quiet, but um, <laughs> your girl is over here trying to make sure that I got one piece of this and one piece of that and not putting all this stuff in one spot or whatever. So y'all just stay with me. Stay with me. y'all this thing got stuck under my machine hold on oh geez louise it's always something Okay, just give me a second, y'all. The my um material is stuck on top of the walking foot. So I gotta cut it out and then rethread the, the needle. So hold on. The horrors of sewing. This is always something. But don't let this discourage you because it's still rewarding, okay? Y'all know something is always going on with me. And it's probably too, like I said, my, um, okay, I got it. My, um, my machine is set at the highest, uh, stitch speed. So I'm going to slow it down just a little bit. And I'm using a walking foot, so.
Okay, I'm coming to the other side of the shirt. I'm going to, um, let me check this, make sure I'm only sewing one part of this shirt. It feel a little lumpy. Okay, yeah, it's just one part. All right. <laughs> I'll keep going. Jesus. If I wasn't on live, I would have, I would move my sewing machine and have a little bit more room to play with, but. I'm trying to stay within the camera for y'all. So it's a little bit difficult, but I'm going to do it because I, I want y'all to be able to see it as I'm doing it, not me talking you through it. So hold on, I'm just trying to get this lined up. Child? Okay. Baby, is our 30 minutes up? <laughs> Sound like our 30 minutes being up. Oh, I know what was pulling. It was the doggone um, pen that I slipped in. Okay. Okay. So I can't wait for y'all to see because I told y'all I'm going to try this on for y'all. So just hold on. We almost done. I bet y'all say you said that the 10 minutes ago. Yeah, but we almost done. <laughs> almost. No, Crafty, it's not a hot girl summer. I wish, honey. This is going to be a just a quick throw this on type of dress and run to the grocery store. Because it's um, airy, loose fitting. Um, wear to the nail shop, get your nails done maybe or something. Not your toes, but your nails. <laughs> Because you definitely don't want to be sitting higher than the nail tech in this dress, okay? I'm coming, y'all. I know it's taking a little longer, but I'm coming. I was just trying to figure out how to get some of this shirt to be, you know, not so big, but all right, y'all, we coming to the, to the, 
to the end if everybody cooperates. Hold on. I'm trying to gather this shirt. This is okay. Thank God it's like a, a um summer dress and not a work dress. Okay, y'all, guess what? I'm checking the stitches to make sure I got both from all the layers, and we done. We are done. Where is the cup? We got to stir the people up in the chat, baby. Where is the cup? Oh, it's right over there. Let's get it. Let's get it. We done. Finally. But I got to see. Let me just make sure that I got it all in, in all the way around. And I'll clean it up later. But I do want to show you guys. What it, hey, Tori's brain. Welcome in, King. I appreciate you stopping by. Okay. I think I got it all. So now I'm just taking the pins out wherever they may be i think it's on the other side okay we done with that part and then oh oh i see something that i missed so i'm gonna just and i'm gonna show you in this camera just hold on i'm gonna show it to you because y'all know i don't have i don't i don't be wanting to lie about nothing all of this stuff is trial and error because this is my first time doing this. Lord, did I make the... Oh, I thought I had got an extra large shirt. I was going to say, girl, now you know you ain't going to be able to get that. Okay, so where is the pen at, though, Jesus? Um. Okay, so... Okay, here go a pen. All right, let me show y'all... They got a, not a hole, but I just didn't catch the t-shirt right here. So I'm just going to go back in. Y'all see that hole? I'm going to go back in and try to grab it and see if I can't close it off. That's from me trying to gather the shirt so I can make it smaller within the skirt. Or the dress, whatever y'all want to call it, because it's kind of like a baby doll dress. So I'm gonna just sew over that so I can close that hole. Okay, so that's the only thing that I saw that was still left open, but I'm gonna inspect it one more time. I will clean the inside of the the um the skirt later. I just want to be able to show you guys what this looks like. So hold on. I'm just checking my threads. And this is the first time that I am doing this skirt, you guys. Or this dress, this baby doll dress. I did it for the first time with y'all so any mistakes we made them together okay any mistakes we made them together and i think i got everything sewn down
Okay. So now let's go to the table. Hey, Imani, welcome in, King. Dominique LeBlue, welcome in, Queen. Okay, we're going to the table now, y'all. So let's see what we got. And then I'm going to go try it on. But, oh, wrong, wrong. Hey, y'all. <laughs> wrong camera. Hold on. Okay, we 245 minutes in. All right. Okay, y'all. This is what we got. And like I said, this was my first time doing this. So we will, I'm going to go put it on. But let me do my thing on the front first. So that y'all can see. Um, so y'all see that there's nothing on the, um, on the shirt, right? So I printed this image out. Let me see how it's going to look first. Oh, I think that's going to be cute. I sublimated this image on another piece of fabric. And I'm just going to cut it out in some type of little shape and glue it on the front of my, my shirt. Do y'all like this image with this skirt or these colors? Do y'all like this? So this is sublimation, and I got this from Creative Fabrica, this print. And then, so I'm just going to cut it out. I don't like the square look, so I'm just going to cut it out into something else. So I've already sublimated it, and this is another way you can upcycle your clothes, right? Remember when um, I told you that when I sublimate stuff or use polyester fabric, I always cut off, this was a t-shirt. So I just cut off the edges and I reuse it. And so now I'm just going to cut this off and then I'm going to sub I mean, I'm going to just glue it on the top of my shirt. That's all I have to do. So y'all hold on. And I think just to give it a little flare, I'll cut it out with my pink and shears. Okay, so let me do this. I'm going to fold and y'all don't think this is weird so this is the edge of the the design i'm not gonna fold it all the way i'm gonna fold it to where it's not even i can see through this wait i might have to cut it even first so i can make sure i get all of my all of my man over here honey Okay, so let's so we just gonna cut it smaller first. I'm gonna leave just a little bit of white just in case I want to leave some white on there. So you can take any fabric that's sublimatable and do this. And give your clothes a little flare, okay? So now I'm going to open this up. And then I want to, I wanted to kind of make this out into a heart. So let me see if I could do that. If I did that, I just have to cut this shape right here. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of um, see if I can if i can draw um some kind of little heart just so i can have some type of outline of the heart okay so i will miss some of him but and i kind of want a little bit of that white if I can get it in. I think I can get it. I don't know. Let me see. I might have to close this in some. And whatever we left with, 
is what we left with. Is that a heart or not? Our heart is like, <laughs> like this. How does it go, y'all? Help me. <laughs> How you make a heart out of this? Somebody help me. Let me see. Do I have something that's heart shaped? I have. Um. Can I use a compass? What is that thing called? A uh, uh, what you used to use in school? The ruler. I got a curve ruler. Let's see. Can I use a curve ruler for that? Because your girl don't know how to make a heart. Somebody tell me how to make this heart, please. And thank you. Let me see if I can use my French ruler for this. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. See, that's too much moving around right there. This one ain't no bigger. How do I do this, y'all? Somebody make me. Make one with the paper first. Okay. All right. Let me get some paper. Hold on. Thank you, Miss Lena. I appreciate you, Queen. Because I can't think. I can't think. I don't know how to uh I don't know how to think. But I knew I didn't want it in a square shape. So let's pray that I can make a heart with the paper. Because listen, <laughs> listen. <clears throat> Your girl don't know how to draw. So Is that a heart? It looked like a doggone peach or something right here. But let me cut it out and see. Because it's on the fold, start on fold down one inch, then cut upwards and around, ending on the bottom of the fold point. What? Chris? Okay, let me see. She said, wait, okay, so it's on the fold. Huh? Starting on the fold, down one inch. Okay, and then cut it around. Let me see, girl. And then come down to the point. I think I understood that. It look like a diamond, but I'll take it. Hold on. And maybe like... See, I missed this. I messed that up. But it's okay. Then come back around and come down. Cut from the bottom. Oh, I missed it. But what is this, y'all? That's close to a heart. That's, that's close. I mean, hey. <sighs> I, I misunderstood what she said. Okay, so let me put this other stuff up. All right, we're about to make this. We're about to make this. So let me see. I'm going to open him up because I want the majority of him. I hope it's big enough. I just want to see. What y'all think about that? Yeah. No. Maybe so. I'm a I'm a um I'm a just pin it. I will have to uh go find if you go if you do it more on the something it will make it more of a heart shape if you do it more on the i don't know what that word is i don't know what that word is okay chris i don't know what that word is 
if you yeah i don't know what that is different is it trying to say different okay let me i'm gonna cut this out just like that but i'm gonna go a little out i'm gonna go a little ways out so it'll be just a little bit bigger okay because it's not really centered let me make sure no fold the fabric in half and cut it like you oh okay all right okay hold on fold it like the paper fold it in half and cut it like you did the paper yes ma'am this is my fold okay all right let me pin it Uh oh, I do listen sometimes. Hey, e money. Hey, King. Y'all, I can't wait to try this on. We almost done. I'm so sorry. We almost done. Y'all know I always have extras. Okay, I always. I'm just so extra. But I just want to be giving y'all ideas of how you can, you know, make stuff or whatever. Yes, you might make mistakes, but keep going. Don't stop. Okay. So, I want it a little bigger, so I'm just going to cut outside of the lines. I want my heart just a little bit bigger. I'm just going to try to follow the shape, though. This is so hard. I am not jiving. I'm not jiving. I think because the the material is so flimsy. Y'all just be patient. I'm coming. I promise you. I don't know what to do now. Let me see. I can't even hold it together. I know Chris probably going to be like, you should have put more pins. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. But I'm glad y'all here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm glad y'all here. I'm gonna have to go back to school to learn how to draw me a heart. That's all this. That's all that. That's all that is. I got it. Okay. Okay. Take your time. Okay, Miss Lena. Thank you, Queen. All right, y'all. Let's see what the damage is. <laughs> let's see what the damage is. I already see this kind of look like it's squared at the top. okay i don't know we're just gonna roll with it i think the only thing i'm gonna do is probably put my v just a little bit deeper just because i want to just because i want to i know i'm anal i'm being extra okay all right let's open it up and see Voila! Woo! Woo, woo, woo! It's so pretty! It's so pretty! I hate this shirt. It's so big. Because I'm going to have to wear it like this. I don't like it, but I'm just going to have to wear it big. And no, I'm not going to um measure my heart. Or none of that. I'm just gonna put it on my shirt. I don't I don't care if it's crooked or whatnot, okay? Because 
I want it to be different. I want this to, oh, I got two cameras. I'm sorry. I want this to be where I'm the only person that's wearing it. Okay. So I don't, I'm not into the, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I don't care today. I don't, I don't care. Like 755 would say, I don't care with a K. All right. So now I'm just going to glue this baby down around the edge of my so I'm just going to flip it and take my glue, my fabric tack and you only need a little. Don't, don't go globbing it up, okay? You don't need a lot. Put it around the edges as much as you can because you want those edges to stay down. And I'm just going to run it across this, the back part just so it'll have some type of leverage. Oh, y'all see? Y'all see? Y'all see how it moved? Okay. So now I'm going to just flip this back, but try to make it straight. Okay. Y'all, I absolutely, absolutely love this zebra. So if y'all don't know, my favorite animals are zebras, elephants, birds, and butterflies. I don't know. I don't know, but I, that's what I like. So when I saw this zebra, and then, of course, he had purple behind him, I was like, oh, yeah, this, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to add that to my plain Jane shirt that I just got out of the stash. So that I can jazzy up my t-shirt. And I absolutely love this elephant, honey. I mean, this zebra. Sorry. I was looking for the elephant, but I couldn't find one that I actually liked. Because, you know, your girl don't draw. I just go and see what everybody else got and then use they stuff. Okay. I do love chickens and farm animals too. I don't know about the chickens because they make too much noise. Are you heat and bun, bun and attaching it? No, I'm just using some glue, good. You can heat and bun. You can sew this down if you want to. But for the purpose of this video and this live and this whatever, we gluing this down, baby. And I'll clean this up too after the fact because there is a way for me to get that off. It's just a tiny, tiny bit. Oh, I didn't glue right here. Okay, hold on. I didn't put no glue right here. Where is it? Oh. And I'm finna go try it on and come back. I'm gonna go try it on and come back to y'all. So give me one second to finish this and then go put it on. And put my hands in my pocket. And put my hands in my pocket. <laughs> yes, honey. Wow, okay. Did I miss all of this? Okay. I'm slipping. I'm glad I checked it, though, before I went put it on and it was falling down. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down. My fair lady. Is that how that song go? <laughs> Y'all, believe it or not, my neighbor has a zip. What? Miss Deborah. What? I need to come visit you. But then... I would get over there with the zebra and be scared to touch it. Honestly. I like to look at them because they're beautiful. Y'all cannot tell me this. This this is not this is so cute. All right, let me go try it on for y'all. Let me go put it on for y'all. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Okay, let me go put it on. Somebody give me a bang, bang, one, two, three. <laughs> bang, bang, one, two, three. 
Bang, bang, one, two, three. <laughs> bang, bang, one, two, three, if you want to see me. Nah, just playing. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Okay, I'm coming. I got to put it on. I got to put it on, y'all. I got to put it on. All right. Coming. Bang bang one two three if you want to see me. Oh, oh. wait, where my pocket at? I got I gotta have I got okay. All right, where my pocket at over here? Where oh ah! hallelujah. Okay, y'all ready? Y'all ready or what? Y'all ready or not? Y'all ready or not now? Okay, wait, which camera I gotta go to? Hold on. <laughs> bang, bang, one, two, three, baby. Let me see. Let me see. Y'all. Oh my God. Becky, look at her dress. Ah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes, I got on clothes. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna try to do it with the other phone, with the with the other camera. Hold on, because I think y'all can get a closer look. Give me a second. Let me set it up. Let me set this thing up. Y'all let me know if y'all can see better on this other camera. Or no? Is this better? I don't know. Let me see. Hold on, y'all. Because I want y'all to be able to see the bottom, too. Maybe? Okay, I'm on my tippy toes, so... Baby, get into these pockets. Ah! Get into these pockets! Ah! So, I would probably put a belt on with this, maybe, or something. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Um, yeah, I don't know. Y'all tell me. I don't know. I mean, it is just like a summery dress that you can just put on. See, the shirt to me is still, is still too big. But what y'all think? Okay, let me go to the comments. A belt will dress it up more. Um, okay, I got to try to thank y'all so much. And thank y'all for rocking with me. I got to try to get an angle. Well, okay, maybe y'all can see the angle. I don't know. I'm looking for my pockets because they're the same color. Y'all, these pockets. Okay, so it it kind of looks like the front needs to be trimmed, I would say. I'm not sure. But it's cute, y'all, and it's comfortable. And you can go anywhere. You go to the store with it. So thank y'all for being here. Let me see. I can talk to y'all from here. Hey. Thank y'all for being here. Um, Ooh, baby. I need to brush them edges, honey. Don't be looking at my edges. I mean, they still there. They just need to be brushed. But take a few pictures and post on your community tab with the live link. Okay. Thank you, Mary. All you missing is a margarita. Okay. Thank you, Miss Deborah. Thank you, Mary. Y'all, I'm sorry that it took so long. Y'all know how it is. It makes your butt look big, girl. Because <laughs> you know your mama ain't got none, but it's okay. After all these years, honey, I don't need none. Okay. Hey, Sleazy. Thank you, Queen. 
Okay, I got. I don't like. I don't. I don't. I don't uh. Yeah, I, y'all can't be seeing my edges. Oof, child. Don't be. Don't be over there looking. At, don't be looking at that. Viola Floyd, welcome in. <clears throat> Maybe a little him around the tummy. A him. Maybe a little him. Who is him? Thank you, Coach Mary. My, I appreciate you. <laughs> Grammy's Journal. Maybe a little him around the tummy. It did not take that long. It's fine. I'm just putting D frames together. Okay, J3. Oh, Grammy's Journal said I love you, but I want to know is who is him? Who the him? Who the heck is him? Um, so I'm just stirring y'all up. And I'm about to sign off of this thing. Y'all, this this zebra is the like this is the business. This is the business. Okay. And it's so soft because the sublimation shirt is like a t-shirt. So it you don't even know that it's here. Y'all, that's so cute. It's so cute. It's so oh him H E M. Okay, I think she meant him around the tummy. Oh yeah, okay. That was a great live. Thank you. Um uh unleash girl. I can't get with this tuck stuff, but unleash crafter, thank you, Queen. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna leave because you know your girl always running over, but um I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for joining me. Thank y'all so much for helping me with all the tips and tricks and just for being here, okay? And um, y'all don't forget, share the live out, like it, comment, do all the good things. Um, And I'll be back. And I will link this zebra in my description uh, once I'm done, okay? Or maybe tomorrow, who knows? I don't know. But I love y'all and I will see y'all on the next live. And uh, don't forget, I'm going to post, um, I'm going to put the Sew Up to Glow Up Tuesday playlist in the description of this video also. So if you need to go back or want to go back to see all the 31 episodes, baby, because this was week 31, 31, okay, you can go back and watch those too. So I love y'all and I'll see y'all on the next live and y'all have a blessed day and night or evening or whenever you watch the replay.